I'm Dr. Peter Leo. I'm a clinical assistant professor of dermatology and pediatrics at Northwestern University Feinberg School of Medicine. Parker. One of the most common questions I get asked is, what about the role of diet? What kind of food should I be avoiding or what should I be adding to my diet? Isn't that a way to get to the root cause of this condition? And the truth is that it's really pretty complex. I would love to believe that for patients that we see generally, we could find a food or foods and tell them, just cut these things out. The classic ones we'll hear are gluten and dairy and everything will go away. The problem is that's usually not the whole story. These are things that can trigger a flare up, but there's still a back background of atopic dermatitis. They're not really the root cause as we'd want them to be. What we find in addition, however, is that there is a deep and important connection between eczema and food allergy. But it turns out that it's probably not like we thought in the past. We used to think that food allergies maybe were helping to drive the eczema. Now we've turned that around and we understand that the leaky skin barrier, that damaged skin barrier, seems to allow for food proteins and allergens to get into the body in an abnormal way. In other words, eczema comes first, then people become allergic to foods through that broken and skin barrier. So part of our job is to sleuth out what are foods doing? Are they just seeming to cause a flare up? Are they actually causing an allergy or is there something else? So what can patients do in the meantime? Well, obviously if there is a food or a couple of foods that you feel are very, very much responsible over and over again, every time you have this food, you have a flare up, then at that point, it's really good to get other specialists involved to help us, an allergist, maybe a nutritionist or dietitian to help us try to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. But one thing that everybody can do in the meantime is eating a healthy diet, is avoiding those processed foods, sugary foods, things that I think can cause inflammation in the body in a very non-specific way. So not an allergy, but just driving inflammation. But again, that's a little bit different than being totally cured or a little bit different than that being the true root cause of all of their ailments or even just their atopic dermatitis. Mm -hmm.